This is problem number 79 from page 41, and the directions are to factor by substitution. So we have an expression that needs to be factored. It's a trinomial. It looks a lot like the quadratic expressions we are used to factoring. So I like to call this one a quadratic in disguise. There are three terms. Um, I think we could factor it like we would factor a typical quadratic expression. We're going to start with this method of substitution, and then I will show you an alternative way to factor this. We'll get the same, same answer both times. Okay, using substitution means to take our variable expression and substitute something else for it. So looking at the original expression, how do you figure out what to substitute? Typically, I look at the middle term. And in specific, I look at the variable part of the middle term. And I let x, or whatever letter I'm choosing, be that variable expression. So x is m squared. So somehow we're going to replace this first expression with something involving x and this second one with something involving x. Working on the first one, keep in mind that m to the fourth is equivalent to m squared squared. That's just exponent properties. So if x is m squared, then m squared squared is the same as x squared. Okay, so that means that our expression is now x squared, m to the fourth is now x squared, minus 3x squared, excuse me, minus 3x, Minus 3m squared is now minus 3x, and we still have minus 10. This we can factor into x minus 5 times x plus 2. But we don't want to leave it like that. We don't want to leave x in our answer because the original problem involved m. So we need to unsubstitute, or in other words, replace the x terms with m squared terms, so everywhere you see an x, you put m squared in its place. And here's what we have now. Except I forgot my squared. There we go. That's our answer. Now, before you think you're done, you should always check these expressions and see if either of those factors further. So can we factor m squared minus 5? No, that's not a difference of squares because 5 is not a perfect square. If it was m squared minus 4, we could factor further. This is done, though. m squared plus 2, does that factor further? No, it does not. So we have our answer. For more examples of using substitution to factor expressions, uh, the previous two videos from problem number 47 and problem number 57 will also help you. This one in particular, though, I think that we could have done without substitution. The directions in the book said to use substitution, but what would I do if I was just going to ignore those directions? So the alternative method is just to take a look at our expression. Treat it like a quadratic trinomial. In other words, treat it like the quadratic expressions we're used to factoring. We're used to things like m squared, minus 3m, minus 10. Break it into two sets of parentheses. So you say to yourself, let's pretend that wasn't there. When you're starting to factor an expression like this, you say to yourself, OK, I'm probably going to have two binomials. What times what gives me m to the fourth? Well, probably m squared and m squared. There are other possibilities, but that's the most likely. And then what times what gives me negative 10? There are a couple possibilities, but let's go ahead and try uh, something with a 5 and something with a 2. And then in order to get negative 10, one needs to be positive, one needs to be negative. And I need the insides and outsides to add up to negative 3m squared. So if I put a negative on the 5 and a positive on the 2, the inside is negative 5m squared. 
the outside is 2m squared. Those add to negative 3m squared. There you have it, without using substitution, just using your typical factoring techniques.